Hey, and uh, welcome to Live Laugh Stuck Does 413, is what I just called this. I just called this Live Laugh Stuck Does 413. I'm Jackie, a.k.a. Jack's pronouns are they, them. And here is Moosey. Hi, I'm Moosey, pronouns they, them also. Hey, uh, so this is actually, I, I realize, going to be my, my second recording of Hive Swap put on, um, put on my YouTube. Uh, this time with a new guest. But, mm -hmm. um, but you know, it's fun. Just play Hive Swap over and over and over again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, um, we had some other, <laughs> so I initially planned on us doing a, um, looking at all the, like the classic Homestuck videos and, and you know, the lyric stucks and, and all that stuff. And then I was going and trying to put together a playlist and I realized we have only read up to act five, act one. There's so little mm -hmm. shit up till there. All the all the good shit um is after act five, act two is done. Like once once mm -hmm. that's done, once Cascade, you guys know what I'm talking about. Cascade, once that's done, then we can look at all those. So uh we might do it for Car Cat Day. Um, mm -hmm. depending on how things go. But I wanted to do something for four thirteen and so uh uh hive swap seemed as good as any uh moosey do you, do you i forget what all i've told you about hive swap do you know anything about hive swap um i've seen like the very first scene of the game or something like the first game screen because i was like i want to see what the homestuck game looks like and this yeah. is a while ago okay. uh i know that it was originally like worked on in 3D, but now it's 2D, oh and that there was trouble with the development process. I I wonder if Gia would be down to doing a podcast episode about that, or if he has enough targets on his back mm -hmm. from uh, <laughs> just making the blog posts and and uh, Sarah Zed mentioning him. Mm. Uh, but if if you want to know more, uh, uh, Gio. Uh, what is it geo underscore h or something uh geo has a blog i'm sure if you look mm -hmm. at up like um I'm, I'm saying this to you i'll probably link it to you moosey uh i i might be too lazy to put this in the description of the video <laughs> but uh but yeah geo mm -hmm. has a blog that that goes into the deep dive of as much mm -hmm. public information as we can possibly get about what happened with this fucking game yeah and um, i did watch that sarah zed video like Whenever it originally came out, I don't even know how long ago that was. <laughs> oh, really? The lawsuit one? Yeah. And the follow-up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the law lawsuit's the follow-up. The first one. I haven't okay, seen yeah. the first one yet. Okay, um, I yeah. just watched the one where What Pumpkin and Hussy were showing their whole asses. Because <laughs> um, it's very funny and terrible. But. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. So, okay. So, you know. So, you know a lot of the. Uh, so, you know a lot of it. Um, kind of, but I also just forget things that aren't super relevant or I don't have context for. So. Oh, that's fair. Um, I I am, in fact, a Kickstarter backer. I have this poster that's somewhere from the mm -hmm. Kickstarter. This was like the second Kickstarter I ever backed. Mm -hmm. Um, So, uh, yeah, I actually provided like, uh, I think I let Geo know. I was like the first person to let him know whenever some shit got posted on on a, a kickstarter so i'm a mm. i'm a source not that it's hard <laughs> to get someone from the kickstarter to tell you stuff but you know mm -hmm. uh that's not what i wanted to talk about i mean that's not <laughs> what i like intended i i didn't intend on getting to hive swap discourse but it's it's natural it's hive swap mm. um but uh you know you, we just know so much about what pumpkin now that it's it's hard not to <laughs> talk about yeah. shit <laughs> I mean, th this all said, how, I love high how, swap. How love, the sausage is made. <laughs> yeah, how the sausage is made. Um, mm -hmm. Bad. Well, it's a very, very pleasant intro screen. It's I know it's very so relaxing. Um, again, I I love high swap. Uh, high swap Act One. Um, I need to play high swap Act Two again to get my real feelings on that. Um, mm. Do you know anything about? I mean, I know this isn't just a high, general high swap thing. We're not even going to finish the whole fucking game. But uh, do you know anything about high swap back two? No. Do you know anything about Ace Attorney? Phoenix Wright. Yeah. 
Uh, I haven't played them, but I know of the Phoenix Wright games. Gotcha. Um, well, if it, liking one goes hand in hand with liking the other. Okay. And I'll just say that. Um, anyway, uh, we might fuck with the volume a bit. I think this this intro is just quieter than the rest of the game, but I can't remember. Mm. Um, so so hopefully it it goes fine. Um, hear that lovely lovely music by i think it's primarily by james roach um which i have opinions on but i mean music's good what can you say uh so yeah you ready to finally dive in after i spent uh five minutes (laughs) talking about nothing sure (laughs) okay let's go <laughs> Get wrecked. That music was very much, much louder than on the title screen, but we can adjust that. Yeah. I'm going to need another minute. Okay, you gave yourself a minute to freak out because of the monster. The thing with all the legs and teeth. The one you barely got away from. Minutes up, though. You take a deep breath, let the uncertainty slip away into the toothy, arm-raggling darkness, raggling, and focus on what you know. Your name is Joey Claire. You live outside the town of Haunt Switch. You are, in no particular order, a puzzle solver, a semi-orphan, a dance of multiple dancer of multiple schools, and an aspiring veterinarian and a big sister. Speaking of, that monster, the one that barely missed eating you alive, you're only you're not thinking about that right now, is <laughs> it might be headed back outside where your little brother is. You gotta warn him. Okay. Is that just the eyeball selection icon? Oh. <laughs> one day you hope to be a veterinarian, then you can be uh, the one caring for fuzzy-faced baby critters. So when someone catches you in the act of snuggling them all and tells you to take a hike, you can flash your vet badge and say you're here on professional medical business. Then they'll have to take a hike, not you. Okay, that's probably inventory bar. Mm-hmm. Uh, we might want to turn the music up a bit. I don't know. I'm just not. The game is just kind of quiet. Okay. <laughs> How do I get rid of this eyeball icon? That may be better. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that beginning was the real loud one, and then I think it's pretty chill. After yeah. that. Oops. Oh, more room. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think it's just... Yeah, Why I do you... I don't know if, like, that's needed to talk... I, I, just, I think I just clicked on stuff whenever I played. Yeah. Like, things hover with the eyeball. I'm just wondering why this gives me a eyeball cursor. I'm just, like, in developer QA mode at the moment. Yeah, I know, <laughs> like, that's fair. What is this doing? <laughs> Beanbags are making a big comeback. Uh, it'd be sitting on the floor, and that's all you can really ask of a beanbag. So, so I poke him. This is Sir Bappy P- Pawswater, your beloved man throw chap. You <laughs> tend to his fuzzy whims and needs when you trouble to imagine what they might be. What a daring dream to combine the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of humanimals. Wait, you mean humanity. Anyway, Sir Bappy Pawswater, 
will have to tend to his own fuzzy whims and needs for a while. You've got a lot of crap on your plate right now. Okay, so I see, like, some shiny stuff, like he's trying to send a message or something. Prodigious collection of titles for your console's hungry cartridge-shaped mouth. All of the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You could spend all day listing them. There's Bubsy. Mentioning Bubsy made you feel a little queasy, so you think you'll stop there. You might go lay down for a bit, actually. Goal of this game is to get four of your colored circles in a row before your opponent. He's trying to do the same. You can also theoretically connect five if you're kind of a showy jerk. Yeah. Take the pens. Take the journal. You usually don't have much to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead, but you think today will be a different story. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of a horrible snaky thing. It's locked if you wish to gain access to your long buried or recently buried secrets. You'll have to use the diary key. Since she's been gone, you've been less and less of Pa. You've seen less and less of Pa over the years. He, uh, I guess he had greener pastures to move on to. Or bluer beauties? Mm. Okay. You really like this poster, but can't really say why. It's pretty, and you like the expression on the ballerina's face. You wonder if this is what it's like when adults go to museums to look at actual art. You hope so. You give a good hard stare. Yeah, you're appreciating, you're appreciating the heck out of this art. It would be difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to appreciate it more. So many Rubik's Cubes. Mm -hmm. You really get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. I, I hope I don't have to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sure, why not? After this, you should really go get the walkie-talkie. Since you just remembered, you cannibalized the batteries from the walkie-talkie to power this game. Okay, that's enough yelling. These games stress me out. <laughs> Oh, it looks like the green button isn't working. Well, nostalgia satisfied. You might as well <laughs> the batteries. Okay, cool. I got batteries. Nice. But what is the capture log method? <laughs> okay. Walkie talkies. Grab that. And put the batteries in there. Success! The walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many on what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. Then again, putting batteries in a thing isn't technically solving a puzzle, I su you suppose. It is just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself using mundane, widely available modern technology. You don't care there. You don't care, though. You're counting it. <laughs> Jude, you there? Are you alright? Yes. You want me to do Jude? Or do uh, you want to? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Ben covertly signaling status and requesting yours. Over. You mean the lantern? I don't know Morse code. Would never use such easily decipherable code. Over. <laughs> Enemy agents everywhere. Over. Wait. Unover. Still unconfirmed vis-a-vis -vis your condition following enemy serpent encounter. Over. Please report bite status. How many and how gross? Over. Dying. I'm not great. A giant snake monster chased me right to my door and I barely escaped. Your safety important. Over. Was worried. Over. That reminds me, after I shut the door on it, I think I heard it ch clomping back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might be headed back to your way. 
No plans of leaving current location. Yard crawling with Cryptid Vanguard. Over. Cryptid Vanguard? Missing big picture, Joey. Over. Okay, maybe be a little less obtuse then. Purely defensive posture, uh, tactically suicidal. Monsters likely just distraction. Could have obscured additional agents on approach. Over. You mean like more monsters or? Can't discuss on unsecured channel. Can't be certain who's listening. Oh, but evidence points to uh, Antares class conspiracy cascade. Over. What? Repeat. Unsecured channel. Can't get into details. Over. That's fine. I'm not leaving my room because of your dorky conspiracies. Trust crucial on the battlefield, Joey. Hoping presence of monsters has tipped equation away from typical skepticism. Over. Okay, that's... That's fair. Okay, what do I need to know? Your current position, not secure. Large yard facing windows. Location compromised to enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must abscond to attic, Joey. Over. The attic? Yes, the attic. Strong door. Well stocked with tactical materials. Take left out of bedroom. Go upstairs. Highest room in house. Over. I know what the attic is, Jude. It was just a weird suggestion. What else is new? More inscrutable rambling from my treehouse lunatic brother. Don't understand. You sounded confused. Trying to help. <laughs> Over. Look, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak up there, lock the door, and you can... Call the cops? Negative. Must assume local law enforcement compromised. Alright, 911 blocked our number after all your prank calls. Drills. Not pranks. Uh, Xenomorph incursion, preparedness drills. Look. Failed miserably by fat cat Xenomorph collaborators of Haunt Switch PD. Jude. On our own. As a house... As a species, over. Jude, I'm going to go to the stupid attic, okay? I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon? Over. What weapon? You mean my old weapon? What for? Serpent swarming everywhere. Over. You want me to fight them with a flashlight? Don't blame you for being nervous with high concentration of serpent presence. Must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows you can beat the serpents. Over. Stop saying serpents. Do you recall where weapon is? Over. Yeah, it's in the closet. Understood. All set then. Over. No, I mean the hall closet. Crap. Over. Yeah, well, I guess I'll have to take your word about all this. You are sure about all of this, right? Absolutely, extremely certain. Over. Over and out, squirt. Okay. Now, does this game one have tiny any... autistic boy. <laughs> does this uh, game have any sort of, like, game over or death states? Do I need to be saving a lot? Um, there are, but I feel like it's hard to do. Okay, so, like, if I was warned multiple times... Yeah, like the, so the, um, minor spoiler, there's a, there's combat and you can technically fail the combat. Okay. Um, but I, no, not, not the typical, like, you merged the wrong uh, two things together and you electrocuted yourself or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Is this a closet? I know I have the other thing, but. You could try on some new clothes, but what's a style montage with at least without. At least one party offering compulsory reaction shots for each outfit. Uh, who's going to give you an affirming head nod when you finally nail it. There are important things to consider before you 
carelessly plunge headlong into a style montage. Uh, one thing I wanted to say is I don't know if you remember the Manthro chaps from uh, Jade's room. Oh, I don't. I don't remember. I just it's, remember the little squid dudes. Yeah, it was just a small one-off. Um, the the squiddles definitely uh, are more more loved. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, just pointing out the the minor references. Yeah. And I can search my plush dog, reach inside the expectant plush canine, and puppy surprises having puppies. And also a weird key. Ah yes, no one would ever think to look for your precious diary key inside of a plush dog, least of all your brother, who was upset he didn't get to uh, get one of the puppies. Jude can be pretty melodramatic. Speaking of precious keys, there's also a beautiful old trinket that used to belong to your mom. You have no idea what it is, but looking at it reminds you of her. Honestly, you're not sure you'd be comfortable leaving it there while everything is going on. Get the diary key and the weird heirloom. Uh, okay, we'll come back over here. Acorn's shadow is surprisingly dark for a show about a group of horse friends. Okay, let's see. You unlock and open your diary. Nice, juicy secrets. Uh, here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. You usually don't have much to record in here on account of your humdrum life of the humdrum life you lead, but you think today will be. Oh, I already read that before, right? Maybe something from your past will shed some light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail mentioned offhand and forgotten. The key kicking off a casual cascade of connections that terminates in a catastrophe of snake monsters. April thirteenth, nineteen ninety four. Dear diary, ho oh, hum. Nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school, so uh, to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Is 1994 John's birthday? Is this like the... Oh my god, I or, think it, yeah, because or, he turns 13 on, in uh, 2009. Okay. Is that math? What's math? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have You're to go smart. back. <laughs> I'm not good at doing math when I'm put on the spot. <laughs> okay. Here, let's let's do it. Let's do it. I also can't do math when I'm put on the spot. <laughs> like, my brain literally just threw out both of the numbers. I don't remember what numbers they even were. <laughs> Wait, no, that's, uh... 2009 my, minus 1994 is 15. So, two years before. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Ah, well, you know what I mean, Diary. I don't have any friends and I can't really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them my web ring. Ah, ha, ha, I was thinking of web rings yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> the kids at school are jerks, though, and they called me a poser when I tried to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school might be evil? Jeez, now I'm sending all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good. I can feel it. June 12th, 1994. Uh, that's uh, that... Car Cat Day. Yeah. Dear Diary, woo. First day of summer vacation. Not that late in the... the month? I can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. October 25th. That's Dear another Diary. Homestuck Day we haven't gotten to yet. Okay. I can't believe I haven't recorded a, an entry since the beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough. I came home to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure is some quality adult supervision we youngsters are getting around here. She means well enough, though. Haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped in the house to drop off some more stupid mummies and globes or whatever. 
then skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it uh, that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up? I miss Mom. If this is going to be the last entry in your diary, then by gum, you're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds it once you're, a, once you're snake chow. November 11th. Dear diary, forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited. Anyway, can't talk bunch now. There's a sly and cunning monster on the prowl. Possibly hungry for kid meat, too. So I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I've got to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it. Satisfied you've done your duty vis-a-vis -vis posterity in case of the worst should happen. You relock your diary and hide the key again, safe and sound. Now I got another... Beeple. If writing a diary about tactics, please share. Over. I'm hanging up now. Not a phone. Over. Click. Dial tone. Can see you through window. You are making sound with mouth. Over and out. Okay. So what we know right now is just that we have to get hallway. Uh, flashlight? Flashlight hallway. And we'll see if we're able to even. Looks like the coast is clear for now. Better hurry over to the hog closet and retrieve your weapon before that crafty old serpent. You mean snake can get the drop on you. Okay. Well, is this a hallway? Also, I'm getting a call. So I should get my old weapon from the hall closet and then head up to the attic, right? Uh, affirmative. Also, refrain from excess chatter. Over. All right. Yeah, bye. Could alert monsters. Over. Yeah, I got it. I'm going. Bye. Can't can't be too careful at an espionage game, Joey. Silence Golden. Over. Jude, shut up. Remember one time on training mission, couldn't keep my trap shut. Who boy, really landed us in a pickle. Over. You'd never had any training. I'm turning off the walkie. Bye. Over and... Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, I suppose this is a hallway. <laughs> uh, that's a little car cat oh. bear thing. This thing? Yeah. Hmm. This thing's always giving you the creeps, but that didn't stop you from patching it up after Judic accidentally ripped it with an experimental foamless dart. You got light bright. Good old nineties. Mm-hmm. Is that a Beck? Mm-hmm. Dreamcast logo. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You've been always been a bit creeped out by the monster in the water. It feels like it's eye it's following you, but only sometimes. Uh can't search the box while it's still up on that shelf. That box probably has the stuff you need, but you can't reach. Hmm, wonder what your next step should be. Actually, your tap shoes might be the solution to this problem. If you could just get a good stomp going, you might be able to tumble that box right off the shelf. Oops. Uh... He always keeps it locked. Even if he did manage to get in, he probably has traps set up. Not worth trying to get gum out of your hair again. Plus, there'd be his pet to deal with. No thanks. So we please get the little teddy, whatever his name is. Hmm? Um. Like Teddy Ruxpin or something? Oh, Teddy Ruxpin, yeah. Let's see. Should be moved to the attic. Peek through the keyhole. It's a spooky sheet. The 
it's hiding a, a teleporter or something. <laughs> what the heck was that? How, how long has it been there? Hey, the attic door is locked. Cripes, forgot about that. Tactical blunder on my part. Over. It's fine. No big deal. Just left the safety of my room to be eaten by monsters in the hallway. You know, because my dorky brother sent me to the safety of the wrong side of a locked door. Is it not fine? Over. Jude. Panic not necessary. Extreme danger possible. However, it should acquire weapon at all haste. Will relay key whereabouts upon weapon retrieval. Over. Ugh, fine. So it is fine. Over. Bye. Over and out. Okay. I either need to find a stepladder or tap shoes. Real quick. I see no shoes. Oh, well, there is some shoes on the door. Or next to the door. Equip. You add the Tap Dad's Abilitech to your tech niche. Yep, those are words that refer to those concepts. You learned them literally just now. These will help if there's anything you need to shake up or shake off, or if you're just in the mood to shake it. Okay, I guess. It's my brother's jewelry box. Doop, doop, doop. Pick through the old box and find your flashlight and an old pair of ballet slippers. These will come in handy. Oh, hey, there's some pet treats in here, too. You keep caches of these all over. You'll never know when you'll need to treat a pet. You go ahead and try your flashlight. Click, click. No dice. Another battery problem. You open it up. Wait, there are no batteries in here at all. Just a bunch of stupid pogs. Dang it, Jude. Found my old strife weapon. Guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap, forgot about those. Please keep safe. Over. No, I'm throwing them all away. Joey, please! Those are my favorite. Over. I'm not really throwing them away, you nerd. What do you take me for? Thanks. Over. Still need to get uh, you to Attic. Over. For safety. Right. Well, whatever. I'm trusting you, I guess. Appreciate that. Over. Although, so far, it hasn't really paid off. Joey, please. Just need you to head to Trophy Room. Over. Oh, gross. I hate that place. Why does he even need a special Trophy Room when our whole house is just his dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up on his stupid adventures? We'll find key to Attic there. Mysterious whims of absent father not relevant. Fine. Over and out. Oh, I'm getting another call, too. <laughs> so head to the trophy room? Affirmative. Over. Got it. Over and out. Okay. What do I do with ballet shoes? Go down here. I am assuming most of your questions are you just thinking out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I just figured I'd clarify that instead of just sitting here and ignoring what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Mom is the picture of grace, radiance, and Pa is just Pa. Seriously, has he ever changed his look? Sometimes you wonder if he was born with his spectacles and mustache, or at least one of the two. We've got the dog, Pa, and someone you presume is his sister? Nobody he's ever mentioned. Not that the two of you talk much. Kind of weird to think that uh, you might have like might have like a second cousin out there that you've never met. Maybe she died young. Old timey times are pretty rough. You and Jude have a lot of fun memories with your babysitter. By now, probably more th than with mom and pa combined. You'd always thought of her as the 
kind of cool and fun older kid you wanted to be, until you got old enough to realize she's a pretty sucky role model. You wonder what her family is like, but it's probably not your place to ask. There aren't any pictures of the three of you together, so you tried to make one through the art of composition by hanging these three solo, solo photos together. It's kind of like a photo of all three of you together. Okay. I can't say if they're supposed to look like any of the other characters or not, because they just, everyone's the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same glasses style. Yes. Same, same hair. <laughs> pretty, pretty simple. Uh, style Homestuck has. Got it. This guy. What's he so happy about anyway? His expression probably made more sense in his original context. That is to say, whatever tumor temple or whatever that your pa plundered him from. Oh no. Oh. It seems the power is out. That should make the trophy room quite the adventure, which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish you were having right now. Oh. Beep. Well, it would seem the power's out. Classic PsyOps. Over. What? Credit where it's due. Best way to destabilize countermeasures. Leave you in the dark. Literally. Over. Not literally. It's still, like, late afternoon. I can see fine. Should have no trouble getting to trophy room, then. Over. Fine, then, Mr. Mission Control. Yes, great. Over and out. <laughs> What's that buffalo eyes look kind of... <laughs> yeah. Is it not linear? Oh, yeah, because it doesn't have a little thing saying to yeah. click on it. Various books of the paw. How to turn sweet, intelligent animals into weird rugs and stuff. Teach yourself taxidermy, I guess. Safari stories of bold men and the animals they killed from a distance even though they weren't hungry and did not intend to eat them. Fair. <laughs> oh, look. Dead batteries, of course, seems to be a running theme. Oh, also, though, if you yeah. want to say, oh, this looks like this person from Homestuck or something, because there are, like, connections. Mm. Obviously, because it's a still Homestuck. <laughs> Homestuck adjacent. Is her, is her dad John? <laughs> no. Okay. Play Haunting Melody. I'm going to say you're not far off, though. Okay. Descendant of John? <laughs> Weird lamp lady? Okay. Oh. This is just. Oh, okay. This is a different area. Ah! Whoever painted it must have very good animation or imagination. Either that or they painted it very, very fast. The teddy bear outpatient clinic is for stuffed animals who require treatment, but not an overnight stay. It's not just for stuffed bears, of course. It was named for its founder, Chief Physician <laughs> Arsala Teddy Bear. Uh, door? There's graffiti on the walls over there, too. This looks like kitchen? The sound you've heard since you entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. The awful static is like nothing you've ever heard, and you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. You turn Are the you radio hearing off. the static on your end? I just hear like a, a clock or something. I think that's the music, just very, very quiet. The music, like I hear a little bit of melody. How do I steal the batteries out of this thing, though? You open the battery compartment. 
Jackpot. D cells. You never have too many batteries and never in too many different sizes either. Oh, the battery puzzle. Um, you want me to, like, bring up the music more? Yeah. Do you hear the horn? Yeah, I can hear the horn. Okay. Another electric device successfully powered through clever, ma clever manipulation of resources in your immediate environment. You are on fire. With your flashlight fully functional and in fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low-light environments, and also to beat the bejesus out of anything that creeps uh, of these creeps that get too close. Although, that's a last resort, of course. Your sweet lo loyal dog loves that flap. Jude used to like it too when he was younger. He still likes it. You're even out of dog food. Things really have gotten desperate. At least you can't blame your babysitter for running off to the store for groceries at what was res retrospectively the worst possible time. Okay. Uh, some kind of pharaoh Napoleon over here. Possibly inspired by uh, Day of the Tentacle. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the trophy room? It's a machine designed to wash your clothes. Take your clothes and wash them. It's called a washing machine. It serves its purpose admirably on the rare occasion a human being is willing to cooperate. Why are there so many blue ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Paying attention to something similar in another location, right? You decide not to pull on that psychological thread because you have important work to do. Who needs that crappy old blowhard anyway? I love the mustache. Oop. Your babysitter sometimes cracks into your pa's special reserve, and she tends to do it down here, so you and Jude don't see. You aren't really sure what to say about it, or if you even have any business saying anything about it at all. We got Betty Crocker shit. Uh, maybe it's because you grew up in a house where nobody really cooks, but you have no idea what to do with these cooking implements. Food, the great mystery. All neat and folded. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It's obviously dirty. Is this the trophy room? Or is it just the basement? <laughs> it's just the basement. Okay. I mean, that's where I put all my trophies. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe this is the trophy room, but I can't get in! Mm. I'd shake this mummy, Napoleon guy, right out of his bu busy aesthetic. Which would be one way to get past him, but it would make an awful mess. I still don't know what the ballet shoes do. Okay. Uh, dog treats, weird key thing. And pogs. You shave down the edges of the pog with the toothy side of your heirloom. It will now be used to solve lots of different puzzles throughout your house. Good work. That was a mistake. Uh, just kidding. You don't do that because that would be ridiculous and an insult to your puzzling skills. Okay. I was just trying to, like, get the <laughs> thing off of my cursor. Oh, I already wanted to do that. Okay. Well, you can try to summon your precious dog for support, but your precious dog is currently cowering in the doghouse. You can see her through the window. You'll let her stay there where it's safe? Safer, anyway. X machine snacks. It's empty. Food shopping has become sporadic as of late. Turns out tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at responsibilities. Mm. Oops. <laughs> 
Just lots of that's that's a very scary looking wolf face. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't click on this one yet. Uh, leaving the protection of your home seems like a bad idea. It might be creatures and weirdos a way out there. Um Well, I'm not sure. I have to get into the trophy room. Was that, uh, because was that two doors down there? And did you click on both of them? Well, there was like the basement door. Wait. I have so that's the door you went through for the kitchen. And then the other two doors were over here. I thought there was, oh, I thought there was another door out there. It's been a while since I played. Yeah. It's a little hard to know where I'm going. It, the regions don't okay, quite Okay, so that went that feel. way and you can't go farther the other way? Um. Oh, wait. What was that door? Just as you reach for the knob, the door shuttered as something heavy and wet slammed against it from the other side. There's something blocking the door to the trophy room now. Something? Over. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Strange. For now, recommend focus on restoring power before sunsets completely. Over. Oh, geez, you're right. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for the reminder. Need electricity to retrieve key anyway. Over. What? Can't discuss over unsecured channel. Over and out. Okay, so this thing... Uh, I assume power is in the basement? Gotta find a breaker box. Oh. Is that the breaker box? There we go. Move junk pile. Try to move one box and the whole pile is liable to come tumbling down. You need to find some way to get them all moving at once. Shake them up somehow. A controlled tumble. That's the ticket. That looks good. Alright, child. Now reset the breaker. <laughs> you flip the breaker and... Oh, creepy music. Creepy shadows. Creepy. Ah! I probably should have saved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, drive? You've got no chance of beating this thing. You gotta get away. Step on it. Do I ballet shoes around it? Gracefully abscond. Oh no. Stretch your luck next time. Gotta hand it to you. Can I tap it? <laughs> okay. Can I gracefully abscond again? Okay. I I don't know what I did in mm -hmm. particular. Power back on. You doing, uh, you're doing or psyops of enroaching forces. Over. Give you back light only to snatch it away. Described hypothetical. Very cruel. Dealing with sick operators. Over. Operators. Over. No, it was just me. Criminy Jude. Snake monster is down in the basement, by the way. I man managed to get past him, but we'll probably need to deal with that at some point. Second encounter with said serpent, correct? Beast Wily. But sister already established superior uh, wiliness uh, attribute. Over. Hey, thanks. I think. Trophy room should be a trivial obstacle. Over. 
Wait, what? Attic key, Joey. Eyes on the prize. Keep me in the loop. Over and out. Okay. Now I can send a fax that the electricity is on. That is the most important thing in the game. <laughs> oh no. I should have... Give treats. Opening force. Fletcherize on the prize. Like, wait, wait. Is there a health bar anywhere, or am I just like going to it... look tied? <laughs> um, no health bar. I can't remember how it uh shows you shit. Mm -hmm. eat, eat dog treats. Oh. Well, I hope I do not die. I assume this is just how I attack, right? I mean... You might try the shoes. The the escaping shoes and the shake-up shoes. I cannot remember. Main roars? Uh... Well, I, I don't think this is going well, <laughs> but <Yeah>. I cannot... <laughs> uh, maybe see if you can throw the food, not at it, but like behind it? I can't remember. Or is it not letting me click? Yeah. Oh, oh there I just we go. Clicked on him again. Maybe I can crush it under armor or something. What is that? Why is that? Why do I have a chompy mouse? That's a good question. <laughs> He descended to Rung 2, attained rank of tail wagging Tyro. At m multiple levels. Okay. So, where is the key? In his desk or something? Would never leave critical item in such obvious location. Over. Okay, but like, where did you leave it? I just had to lure a hungry monster out of here with treats, and I'm not sure how much time I have for brother-sister conspiracy capers before it comes back. If room compromised, can't discuss countermeasures over unsecured line. Utilize puzzler skill set. Over. Ugh, fine. Call back if assistance required. Over and out. <laughs> the clock is stopped at 11.11. And has been as long as you can remember. You could fix it, but why bother? It's not like you're going to make a habit out of uh, strolling over to the worst room in your house to check the time. Okay. Spin that. There's something marked somewhere. 
Um, we've never been entirely clear on what's going on in this tapestry, but it certainly looks in intense. Just look at that fire-breathing serpent beast at the bottom. And that red-eyed figure on the throne. What's their deal? Okay. This, uh, whatever this is, depicts the heroes conversing with huge monsters. Do the monsters help them? Kill them? You prefer to imagine everybody gets out okay, but you know life is really that kind. As if being dead weren't bad enough, your pa replaces his, his eyes with some creepy glass orbs. The light refracts in their faceted stare to give you the creeps. But are you crazy, or is there some light reflecting off his antler, too? Maybe it bears closer examination. Whoa, that sure did something. Jude, I can't make heads or tails of this thing. What thing? Over. I turned on a laser, but that's it. Nothing else is happening. Thought you were Puzzle Master. Was wrong, it seems. Over. Hold on. Over. Believe this calls for... Burns. McGruff Crime Dog experienced trouble. Unbelievable. Over. Wait. Disregard previous burn. Superior burn formulated. Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Please respond if ice required. Over. Mice tried to work. Maybe if you were a real tactician, you'd manage to get your burns out on the first try instead of requesting do-overs. Pride wounded, but unable to protest. Have been informed mildly contentious banter, uh, cornerstone of squad, cr uh, camaraderie. Over. Uh, yeah. Anyway, how am I supposed to solve this thing? This clearly a puzzle thing that cries out to be solved. Use marbles. Over. I'm thinking as hard as I can. You know I like puzzles. I wouldn't be asking if it weren't an emergency. Actual marbles. Over. What are you talking about? Trivial, really. Over. What marbles? I don't have any marbles. You don't? None nearby? Over. No. Oops. Over. Oh. Now I'm Jude. Uh, and though tonight is apparently the night you've been preparing for, laying so many preparations and countermeasures and counter-countermeasures against... It would seem that you made a rare, rare tactical blunder. The marbles that Joey needs to disengage the strategic defense globe are here in the treehouse. Time to call in the lone gunbirds. When the heat is on from the government, you need to send an encrypted message while staying off the grid. You entrust it to one of your trained carrier pigeons, the lone gunbirds. You survey the troops. There's Langley, Byers, and of course, Frohike. He's your favorite. Dear sweet Frohike, uh, how you adore him. You cherish the wind he flaps. The chamber is empty because you observe proper flare gun safety protocols, but maybe you should load it because you've also observed some scary stuff this evening. Uh, Tactical error. Consolidated all marbles here in Treehouse to prevent attic key from falling into wrong hands. Over. Additionally, forgot about doing that. Over. No cause for concern. Putting top agent on it. Over. Wait, who? Did you get in touch with one of your friends or... Oh god. You mean one of your pigeons, don't you? Over and out. Okay. Open not locked box. You received the cache of flares you were keeping in your metal chest. Combined with your flare gun, they're a tactical treasure. Breath held, head steady, you carefully load the flares into the flare gun. There's no going back now, the genie is out of the bottle. Okay, let's see. Bigfoot, Bat Boy. Hmm. 
We are careful records of activity of the mysterious figures you often see prowling in the woods. Joey didn't buy it, but the sudden influx of monsters may have changed her saves. Uh, only a few of these are actually liquids, and unfortunately, those are also the ones whose contents you don't precisely exactly 100% remember with total certainty. You're not saying it, some of them are urine, but you're not saying none of them are urine. <laughs> Gross. Uh, look, if it was just your can on the line, you'd be out that hatch down the ladder and blasting monsters in seconds, but Joey's counting on you and you've got to get her a more defensible position before you could even consider heroically abandoning your own. Okay. He has a copy of Haze instead of the Mist game. Nice. Um... Okay, we got red and green globy globe deer thing. You've already committed this crucial intelligence to memory, but a, a truly great field commander keeps even better records. Okay. There she blows, Harley Manor. Well, maybe only half Harley Manor. Since Joey disowned the name in favor of your mother's. Uh, so, Descendants of Jade? Isn't Jade's last name Harley or something? It is. But Homestuck takes place in 2009. Oh, right. Uh, ancestors. <laughs> yeah, I <don't> know. <laughs> Cousins. I don't know how family trees work. I don't know my own families. Yeah, fair. We got a nice empty pouch. Um, we need some red and green. Okay. A bird. Yay. Oh no. Ah. The bird. Oh. <laughs> Poor Jude. Poor Jude. Uh -huh. Sorry for hold up. Unbelievable tragic disaster. Over. Did you lose something else? Must soldier on, making a second attempt now. Over. Uh, Alright, are you sure you're... Over. <laughs> Over and out for a hike. Well, I mean, technically... It got into the house. <laughs> it did. We take another pouch from the drawer and load it with another red and green marble. Are we just... Okay. <laughs> Don't be mm, murder. Oh, mm, bye. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Betrayal. Over. Abandonment. Over. The lowest, vilest cowardice. Over. Uh, well. Can't even communicate true degree of outrage. Over. Likely to jeopardize mission if emotion not suppressed. No uh, Incoming. Over and out. Langley. Langley the coward. Langley the blackguard. Langley the unspeakable. A thousand deaths, a million deaths, an infinitude, infinitude of deaths would not be enough. Langley warm-hearted. Langley bile blood. Langley. You hate him with everything you are and will ever be. Langley. Why does he dislike that bird so much? Okay, I guess we're just gonna sacrifice every bird. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> He's mad at the uh, the one bird that got away. That's who he was yelling about. Mm -hmm. Oh. Success. 
Jesus Crow Byers, my boy. So brave, so true, so great. Over. Are you actually just point blank losing your mind now? It would maybe be kind of a relief after years of buildup, but you could have picked a better night for it. Mission accomplished. Byers, champion of champions, waiting for you in kitchen. Over. Why? Uh, over? <laughs> oh, Byers has marbles required to acquire... Oh, Byers has marbles required to acquire key. Over. Alright, I guess that sort of makes sense. New development. Byers being menaced. Please hurry. Over. What? Oh, okay, I'm on it. Hurry please, Joey. He's all I have left. Over and out. <laughs> Word. Nope. Uh, can I try to hit, hit him? No. looking the other way again. I don't know. They have a snack. Have a pog. <laughs> no. See something sparkling back here? Success. Nice. Cannot salvage other bird from inside. <laughs> Joey, thank you for uh, tactically brilliant seasoning murder. Byers has payload. Re repeat. Byers has payload. Over. Thanks. Uh, do you know how I might get him down? He seems pretty terrified. Negative. Byers simply has unfortunate uh, mercenary streak. Should respond to enticement. Over. How do you bribe a pigeon? Sounds like setup for riddle, or perhaps joke. Over. Bye, dude. Over and out. Uh, treats? Oddly enough, you aren't sure these are safe for birds. After the violent strangled death of that monster, you're a little nervous about just feeding things to other things at random. Maybe there's something safer around here, like bread? Bread-like, at least? 
cereal. But... It's Jude's turn to clean stuff. Um... Can you click on the cabinets? Uh oh. <laughs> that cracker looks 3D rendered. <laughs> Tiniest worst cracker. Success. This little fellow, Byers, you think? Yes, you're pretty sure this is Byers. Gobbles down the stale cracker as you tuck him into your pocket. He's got a little parcel around his neck, which you're fine with letting him hold on to until you actually figure out what you're supposed to do with it. Back to La Puzzle. Okay, got the marbles. Do you want me to send the pigeon back? No! Over. Okay. Sorry, didn't mean to shout, just worried. Please protect Byers. His chances of survi surviving return trip very remote. Over. Okay, yeah, good point. Seems pretty dicey out there. Affirmative. Over. I'll just use these marbles or whatever then. I'll let you know how it goes. Affirmative. Good luck, sis. Over and out. Okay. You carefully remove the marble pouch from around his neck and, believe it or not, shove the marbles into the empty eye sockets. You discard the pouch. What an evening it's been. I'm gonna spin the globe. And now we get a key. You got what you assume to be the attic key. Got the key. Heading back up to the attic now. Careful. May not be that simple. Over. What do you mean? None of this has been simple. It's been downright convoluted. Noticing hostile elements. Grouping serpents. Massing. Over. Oh, jeez. We'll try to back you up if possible. Remain alert, sis. Over. Always am, bro. Over and out. Okay. Let's save again. The music stopped. <laughs> Oh no! So many dudes! Uh... Oh, I can't click anything. Hey, wait! Uh, flare gun out there. I don't know if I can see him or not. <laughs> okay. Uh... I don't know if tapping is gonna help if anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess I need my... I guess I need my various things. Um... Okay. Uh, okay. Whack them with pogs. Uh, oops. Throw treats. Up. Oh. Okay.
<laughs> Do I just keep repeating the same strategy? I, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know if when I'm clicking it attacks me. Okay, maybe I, maybe I just come back over here. Ah, that's that's yeah. <laughs> I hope it's rained recently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wheel. Wait, how'd I get back? There we go. Can I go into my room? Oop, no, it won't let me go back. Okay. Who's lucky? Oh no, the key. Joey, come in. Please report status. Joey, hello, it's Jude. Joey, are you okay? Joey, please, over. Yes, I'm safe. I'm in the attic. I just barely made it. Phew, over. Locked in, actually. I dropped the key. Safer an attic than rest of house. Key can be retrieved later. Over. I think you were right. The way they smashed through the living room and the front door? If I'd stay in my room, I'd be a goner. Separated, uh, separated us with Vanguard. Destabilized power. Probe defenses. Finally attempted entry through multiple points of ingress. Basic siege tactics. Over. I didn't realize you actually knew this stuff. I just kind of thought you were just like pretending to be a spy or whatever. We'll take as compliment. Over. Anyway, thanks. Uh, so I guess I'll up here for now, I guess. Are you safe in the treehouse? Should you try calling your friends or something? Didn't want to risk their involvement. Always a gamble engaging soldiers of fortune. But maybe time. Remain secure in location and, and, and ignore object under curtain. Over. Well, obviously I'm not going to ignore it. Joey, please. Over. What? It's a big, mysterious thing under a beguiling, fluttery curtain. I have to at least peek at it. What is it, anyway? Data insufficient to, de uh, to determine. Over. Well, I'll let you know when I find out. Joey, don't. Tact it. Er, eriously. Anth. Pin. Over. You there? Joe. Oh. Good. Mm, Ordle. It's a uh, really bad I Over. Jude, can you repeat that? Lots of static. Joey, please. I can't. Ooze you. T please. D Go portal. I guess I could have added sounds, but I just did. You say did, did. Portal. Did not think about the sounds until after, but here we are. Yeah, yeah. I'll save before I touch the portal. Can't really avoid noticing the drape rustling around, although you really wish you could. Better see what's under there now, though, before it gets the drop on you. We got a fancy thing with green and red and 
Take your paw now? It looks kind of different from the stuff you usually jumps off here. Feels different in your mind, at least. You wait. What? You're having trouble thinking clearly. Trouble keeping your train of thought. Ow? How long have you been standing here? Only one thing to do. <laughs> Bi spice up the pigeon and eat it. Mm hmm. They swapped their hives. They swapped their hives. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that was our our good uh, stopping point. Stopping point, mm -hmm. you know, the <laughs> point you stop. We have swapped. Yeah. Uh, any any thoughts so far? I like it pretty well. Yeah. The puzzles aren't too like. Uh, I grew up playing a lot of like Sierra Adventures and Lucas Arts Adventures and stuff. Gotcha. Gotcha. So. Um, not too, <laughs> not too terrible. Obtuse of puzzles. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, it was uh, uh, pretty good overall. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I assume you're you're wanting to stop here. It's been about an hour and a half. Yeah. Cool. Can I go back to the menu. Start menu. There we go. Oh. Oh look, nice it little... changed. Uh huh. That's cute. It is cute, and uh, next time you play, uh, you'll get mm -hmm. to explore, you know, Alternia. Mm-hmm. Um, that that would be yeah. interesting. I mean, we didn't get to see much of Alternia so far in, like, 5-1 or anything like that, and I don't know if we'll get to see much of it if everything is destroyed. <laughs> right, yeah, it's like planet gone. Um, yeah, that is yeah. what you get to see in a uh, high swap and in a uh, friend sim because friend sim is all mm -hmm. about meeting a bunch of different trolls. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, um, yeah, but good time. Any, uh, I guess particular thoughts, characters, setting, whatever. Um, let's see. So this was all like 1994, and then when does Homestuck start again? Is 2009. 2000 2009. Mm -hmm. So, and the dad is like a adventure hunter, which is kind of like Harley's grandpa dude. Yes. So, uh, um, it it is clear, uh, by now, you know, for for people mm -hmm. super familiar with Homestuck, that um, this is uh Jade's grandpa, that mm -hmm. is their dad. Okay. But then, wait, that's Jade's dad, or uh, Jade's Jade, Jade's uh grandpa. Okay. Um, is uh Joey and Jude's dad? Oh, didn't it? I don't really remember the backstory a whole lot with that. Like, did he? He was widowed, and did his kids die? <laughs> so, remember. um, the only thing we know about uh about jade's grandpa where we are in the comic right now is that he mm -hmm. is dead and stuffed mm -hmm. and um uh except he seemed to have mysteriously showed up on john's planet in mm -hmm. um in the thing so we don't have any backstory for him okay um yeah and then uh also it is implied that the their babysitter is uh rose's mom okay yeah, because so. the 
the alcoholism, I guess. I don't know. The alcoholism or, and then the picture that has that. Looking that, at the uh, hair. Style, yeah. The hair swoop on the side. Yeah. So, but yes, the alcoholism is definitely part of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, so, um, you know, knowing those things aren't essential to understanding mm -hmm. the story or anything, but um, just neat little, neat little yeah. things. Spawns many, many AUs. Yeah. And, like, overall, like, this game seems pretty solid. And, like, I like the animation in it. And the... um, It's well put together. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I really like it. It's... It's, it's real cute. Mm -hmm. Um, And I like... Uh, I like what's coming up next as well. Cool. Um... But yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, stop it here. Um, uh, I guess everyone have a, a happy 413. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, you're, you're, you're super the biggest mm -hmm. Homestuck fan right this second as we're recording this. <laughs> so uh, um, yeah, I mean, unless you have any big Homestuck thoughts you want to say, but I assume it's just like, man, I hope it gets better in the next act. <laughs> I, I think I'm just more interested in how everything is connected from the big picture thing. Or you, you get a lot of that in the next act. Um, okay. But yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Uh, happy, happy 413. I'm really happy to be back doing this sort of thing. By the time 612 comes around, uh, Car Cat Day, um, I'm going to see if we're both available to do another recording for that to actually look at all this stuff that I can't show you right now because mm -hmm. so much of it relies on what happens in the next act, which, um, which mm -hmm. I think is just like another thing. It was like, Hey, yeah, no, a lot of stuff happens. Some like key, like world building stuff that would just be, uh, I mean, world, everything, mm -hmm. everything happens. Um, yeah. that I just can't, I just can't show you yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so happy 413 okay. and, uh, I will see you guys whenever we upload another video. Boy. Yay. Bye.